everybody, welcome back to the House of Standards channel, a channel that encourages people to challenge themselves to higher standards in Christ. Amen. So today we are going to be talking about quitting too early, quitting things too soon, quitting things before it actually finishes. If that's you, let's go ahead and dive into this topic today because I know that you are not a quitter. You are a finisher. And today we're going to point out some scriptures that will back up the point of not quitting, why we should not quit, okay? But before we get into that topic today, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to hit that subscribe button below. It costs absolutely nothing for you to do. It shows me that you support this channel, and it will also show me who I am serving, all right? I will greatly appreciate it. So if you can do that for me, thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's go ahead and get into that topic. I was a quitter. I quit a lot of things in life. I started things and I just gave up on them. I could have gone on. I could have continued on with it, but I quit for dumb, stupid reasons. And I get mad at myself and I become very frustrated with myself because I know had I kept going, it would have been a huge success, but I quit. And I woke up one day realizing that that was a bad trait for me to have. And I had to reflect on my life and I said, you know what? There was multiple things that I just quit it on. And it wasn't one, two, three. It's like five, six, seven things. And I'm like, dang, Ash. That's a bad character characteristic for me to have. I need to do better. I want to do. I have to do better. It's not I want to. I have to do better. I have four children. Four children. And I don't want who I am to rub off on them. I don't want to say one thing out loud to them. This is what I'm going to do. And then they see me doing the opposite or they hear me say I quit or they see me physically quit. So then they think that it's okay. And they think it's cool for them to be quitters as well. How many times are you going to start and stop? Start up again and stop. Start up again and stop. Are you sick and tired of doing it? Are you not tired of not seeing results? Because I am. I was. And I refuse to come into the year 2024 with the same mindset that it's okay to quit. And there's many reasons why people quit. People quit things because they're just tired and bored of it. It's redundancy. They're tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's, there's no more excitement about it, right? People quit because it's too tough. It's too difficult. They didn't sign up for this. They didn't know what they were really getting themselves into, so they just quit. Another reason why is it that they don't see results, right? Uh, they don't see the results um, that they are, were looking for, um, and they've been doing it so long, and it's like nothing is working out for them, so let's just quit. And when we quit, we quit. Not really caring that we quit because we're not held accountable for us quitting. We're not uh, held responsible for what we said we were going to do. And so we quit. No one's punishing us because this is something that I said for myself. It's not hurting you. It's not hurting you. It's not hurting you. So why do you even care? You're not going to punish me for quitting. And so that's the problem because there's no consequence to us quitting. We quit easily. We quit easily. There's no one holding us accountable. But what if I told you that God was watching you? That God is holding you accountable. Because I know in my Bible, it, it, it says something pertaining to let your yeses be yes and your noes be noes. So he's holding you accountable for what you said. It's Bible. Oh, oh where? Okay, sure. Yeah, if you... Turn to Matthew chapter 5, 37. It says, but let your yes be yes and your no, no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. So do you know that when you're indecisive, your indecisiveness is coming from the evil one? Did you realize that? Because the Bible also said that God is not the author of confusion. So if you're indecisive, you're operating through the evil one. Oh, and let's go back a little bit from the other video that I spoke about. Um, when we're operating with, through the evil one, we're operating through our flesh. Through our flesh. That's right. 
We're operating through our flesh. And when we operate through our flesh, we're sinning. But see, when we operate through the spirit and we recognize that I can't do this by myself. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. So if I operate through the spirit, I know that I need to be increased with strength. Because it also says in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. All things through Christ who strengthens me. So my strength comes from who? Jesus. So I need to operate not through the flesh. I need to operate through Jesus who gives me the strength to keep it going. Because I do know, because my Bible says that with man this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. All things. So when I am weak, he is strong within me. But if I'm operating through the flesh, my flesh is, wants to give up, wants to just throw in the towel. And the devil, he definitely doesn't want you to complete the things that you start. Because when you complete the things that you start, you are building character, perseverance. That's what you're doing. You're building that up. God began a good work in you. And so the devil doesn't want you to complete that good work in you. Because when you reach the finish line, and I know what life you have, it feels amazing. You've accomplished something so wonderful, so big. You didn't know you can do it. When you finish it, the feeling of success is a feeling that is priceless. And you can feel like you can do anything, right? But we have to stay consistent in the very things that we set our minds out to do. And not give up. Not throw in the towel. Not quit. Because when we quit, we're not building character. We're losing character. We're losing it. And it's sad. Because we keep winning points for the devil. We keep scoring the points for his team. Every time we quit, we're, we're moving backwards from our purpose. Because one thing leads to another. If you can accomplish one thing, then you set your mind out to do another thing. And you accomplish another thing, you're just going up the ladder to whatever it is that God really has for you to do. But there are steps you need to take. And everything matters. Every completion matters. Every single one matters. There's not one thing that you set your mind out to do that when you accomplish it, it doesn't matter. There's nothing that doesn't matter because you're gaining character. When you push through, You're not a loser. You're not a quitter. Say that. I'm not a loser. I'm not a quitter. I can do all things. I can do all things through him, through Christ who strengthens me. Say it out loud. No one, no one like it's tattooed on your arm. Say it. Believe it. By faith, I can do all things. It's not by my strength. Not by my power. Because if you think it's going to be you to do it, Sit your behind down. You're right. Just quit now. But if you, give the, if you give all the glory to God, you give him all your praises, you give him all of you, he will give you the power to keep going. This is not the year to quit. No, you're too close to your destination. You're too close to that breakthrough. I promise you, you're right around the corner from it. Do not look at your glasses as half empty. Look at your glasses almost full. You're right there. It's almost full. You're right at the top. So you're so close to the top, it's going to overflow. But you keep looking at it, the glasses half empty. When it's half empty, that means it's depleting. It means it's getting, it's, the, the water in the glass is, is becoming less and less and less. You're depleting yourself. You're depleting confidence. You're depleting endurance, focus, drive, motivation. You're depleting those things. 
But when you look at the glass as being almost full, I just need a I just need to push. Push through. I need to get an increase. Of confidence. I need to get an increase of endurance, an increase of focus, an increase of drive, an increase of motivation. But where does that come from? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I need my strength through who? Jesus. That's where my strength is coming from. Jesus. My strength is coming from Jesus. It's not coming from each other. It's not coming from the TV. It's not coming from YouTube. It's not coming from anybody else. But it, my strength comes through him, Jesus. And when we can recognize where our source is coming from, our source of strength, our source of power, where it's coming from, we will realize that we can finish what we started. Do you believe that? Do you believe that this is the year that we're going to complete things? 2024 is a year we are going to complete the things that we set our minds out to do. Amen. We are going to complete it. It's going to be great. And I don't care if your completion is, it looks raggedy. I don't care. I don't care if it looked like a child has done it. I don't care if it's sloppy. The fact that you completed it, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Right now, I'm being obedient to God. He told me to do a podcast, this channel, whatever you want to call it, right? And to be honest with you, I am talking to myself because very little people watch my videos right now. And I'm okay with that. I had to be okay with that. But just because I'm not seeing the results that I think I should be seeing, it doesn't give me the right to quit. Not when I already said yes to God's assignments. I cannot quit. I will not quit. I won't quit. Because it's bigger than me. Right now, he's building character within me. He's building consistency within me. I have a goal to play, put a, a video up once a week. Not only that, I have to put shorts out. I have to stay committed to the process because now I'm in training mode. Because he will open the floodgates. And I will get so many people watching my videos. I will get so many subscribers. And when that responsibility of having all these eyes on me comes about I have to be consistent in delivering these videos but if I don't practice now while my viewership is low while my subscribers are low I will feel overwhelmed when the gates open and I have a lot of eyes watching this is training mode for me right now I'm okay with the low numbers it's not even about how many numbers. And that's another thing that he's getting me out of. The, 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 the vanity of it. I could get so caught up with how many people are watching my channel. That I'm losing the purpose of the channel. Do you get my drift? It's not about that. So with me consistently doing it. With low numbers. And I become fine with it. I'm okay with it. This is my beginning. So if, as God levels me up and elevates me and it, the increase will come, I'm not surprised. I'm teaching you. I'm training you. I need to get your, your sound right. You need to practice. You need to learn how to communicate to the people. You need to find your sound. You need to stay consistent with the, with the videos. You need to have a system going on. Like there's so many different layers to this thing that I'm grateful for the process. So the process that you're on right now is for a reason. You might not have lost the weight that you wanted to lose, but it's building character. Because you used to only run two minutes. Now you're running for five minutes, five minutes to 10 minutes, 10 minutes to 12 minutes. You, you get my drift? You gradually are increasing your stamina. 
You, you started running on 4.0 speed. Now you're at 7.5 miles per hour. What are you talking about? You're, you, you've grown so much. Don't you see? You've grown so much. Don't you see? Don't you see the results? And so we are so uh, worried about what everybody else can see, but we don't see what God has really been working on within us. And so because we don't see the, 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 the end goal immediately, the bigger picture immediately, we quit. But God has been already working on you, within you. But if you're not operating through the spirit, you will not see that. You, if you're operating through the flesh, you only see the vanity of things. But through the spirit, you see the smallest things. Ooh, that's juicy. Mm. Come on, God. Come on now. The results are in. You have been benefiting from the hard work you've been putting in. Open your eyes, spiritual eyes, to see what God has been doing already. What has he built Within you already. He did something already for you. You are a lot further than where you started. You're almost there. You're right around the corner. You're almost there. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Do not give up. Keep pushing. You're almost there. God is right there with you. So do not give up. Don't quit. Amen. Do not give up. Do not quit. I'm very passionate about this because, again, I was a quitter and I'm changing my mindset. I'm coming to higher standards. That's right. I am. I have to change. I have to grow. I don't want my children to be caught up in in in, in my BS because I want to quit things. I don't want them to see me quit. So they believe that they can quit too. No, 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 no. And I'm not going to hold them to a higher standard than what I can hold myself to. No, I'm the leader in this house. You're going to, I have to raise the bar high. If I expect you not to quit, you can expect me not to quit either. You understand what I'm saying? Let your yeses be yes, your noes be no. If you can't commit to the test, do not agree to do it, period, period, because when you are indecisive, you are operating through the flesh, which is giving glory to the evil one, and that's deep, God wants us to do better, he wants us to finish the things that we start, and when things get a little too tough, he wants us to, to call on him, depend on him, let him give us the strength that we need to keep it moving. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will see the final destination of where you're going. And it will be wonderful. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Amen. I hope you guys got something out of this today. This was good. This was a good, good, good short message but I hope you are encouraged to continue to keep going. Today is not the day to quit. Today is the day to get increased. Today is the day to get Jesus so that he can give you the strength to keep it moving so you can finish what you've started. Amen. Do not quit. Do not quit. Keep your eyes on the prize. Amen. Amen. And that completes the video today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I Once again, if you haven't already done it please subscribe to my channel and i will see you again next week